Suresh Gogi. As I already told you, the antigen is multivalent. And uh, Please don't make noise. This is IgG. This is IgM. Please, please. What is this? Please come. IgM. This is IgA, this is IgA, IgA, then this is, it is present on the mast cell is IgE, this is IgD, come here, you come here, sit here, come, all the time talking. Come here. So antigen can combine in multiple sites. Everybody, antigen, antigen can, combine can combine in multiple sites. sites. Whereas IgG has got two antigen combining sites. How many? IgA has got 4. IgM has got. IgM has got. 10 antigen combining site. And IgE is called as homocytotropic antibody. It is present on the mast cells. That's why, That's why all the, all the anaphylaxis reaction takes place, reaction takes place. on the due to release of phosphoactive amines from the mast cells. What are the uses of antigen antibody reaction? Yeah. One number one is for the diagnosis of Diagnosis of for the diagnosis of infection for the for the everybody for the diagnosis of infection or sometimes this uh, immune reaction can give rise to tissue injury. Tissue injury, tissue injury that gives rise to what is called as autoimmune diseases, not AIDS. AIDS is caused by HIV virus, human immunodeficiency virus. AIDS is caused by human immunodeficiency virus which gives rise to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. What are the confirmed modes of HIV transmission? One is blood transfusion, one is blood transfusion. Second one is STD, third one is needle stick injury, third one is needle stick injury and fourth one is vertical transmission. Vertical means mother to child transmission during intrauterine life and last one is breast milk. If mother is uh, HIV positive, if feeds a child with breast milk, 30% of chances that fetus get infected, child, neonate get infected by the breast milk. These are the confirmed modes of HIV transmission. Same holds good except this in hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis B virus is a very dangerous virus, it is one of the oncogenic virus and uh, it gives rise to what is called as hepatocellular carcinoma uh, and cirrhosis of liver. 
So all of you before uh, going to second year, all of you should get vaccinated against hepatitis B vaccine. How many of you have taken hepatitis B vaccine? Raise your hands. You have to take three doses of vaccine. If you start today, today and after one month, second dose, after six months, third dose. Zero one six. Three doses you have to take. It's available and uh, if you are not taken, today itself you go and take. Because by the time you go to the second year, uh, it is called as uh, uh, infection which occurs about 35 crore people are carrying this virus in their blood. Highest number of carriers. What is carrier? Carrier is defined, everybody, carrier is defined as? Carrier is defined as? Carrying the microorganism. Carrying the microorganism. Without suffering from it. Without suffering from, from it. it. You heard a story of uh, Typhoid Mary? No. Uh, typhoid Mary, is, her name was Mary Melon. Mary Melon. She was famous cook in the New York, New York City. She was very passionate about cooking. Nice, nice kind of food. Chicken, mutton, fish and everything. So fortunately or unfortunately, she used to get employed in the hospital. She used to get employed in the hospital. She killed a dozen of doctors in the first hospital. And uh, some of the sanitary inspector found out that she is carrying the typhoid bacilli in the urine and the uh, feces and he was imprisoned. She escaped from the prison and uh, went to the court of law and questioned, look at me, I am quite high, quite hale and healthy, why I should be imprisoned? No fault of mine. Again she escaped and uh, she went to another hospital and killed another, to another dozen of doctors. At the age of 74, she died of a heart attack. She did not die of entry fever. That's the story of, uh, she is nicknamed as Typhoid Mary. Mary Melon is named as Typhoid Mary. So it's very important. Now antigen antibody reactions. So antigen, everybody, antigen where it combines with antibody, antigen where it combines with antibody is called as epitope. The firmness with antigen combined with antibody, firmness with antigen combined with antibody is called as avidity. Avidity is called as the firmness. Okay. Now moving on to the important uh, uh, the antigen antibody reaction uh, occurs on the surface. Whole antigen only is part of antigen and antibody reacts. Part of antigen antibody reacts and uh, and they combine in the varying proportion. Single body can have different types of uh, antigen antibody reactions. So important antigen every day. Antigen antibody reactions are antigen antibody reactions are agglutination, agglutination precipitation, precipitation complement fixation test, radio immune assay, radio -immune assay enzyme linked immunosorbent assay, <laughs> enzyme linked <laughs> immunosorbent assay. Fluorescent, fluorescent tagged, tagged. Either antigen you can tag or antibody you can tag. Fluorescent antigen antibody reaction. Fluorescent? Fluorescent antigen antibody reaction. Now, I told you the difference between antigen uh, agglutination and precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation, antigen is soluble, it is here particulate, antigen is everybody in precipitation, antigen is soluble, whereas precipitation, whereas agglutination, Antigen is particulate. Antigen is particulate. Not soluble. Not soluble. So antigen precipitation is good in detecting antigens. It is good in detecting antigen. It is 
it is good in detecting antibody. Okay. Now the uh, titer is defined as everybody. Titer is defined as highest dilution of serum. Antigen antibody reacts in observable manner. So, for example, if there is a agglutination in 1 in 2, 1 in 4, 1 in 8, 1 in 16 and there is no agglutination in 1 in 32 and this is the titer, this is the titer, highest amount of serum in which antigen antibody reacts in an observable manner, Higher, highest, highest dilution of serum in which antigen antibody reacts in observable manner. So, now uh, antigen antibody reaction. Now, ne next is uh, flocculation test, where uh, now important flocculation test what we use is you know this infection, syphilis, syphilis. Heard of this name? Syphilis. What is it? STD. It is STD. Sexually transmitted disease. Okay. Any other STDs you know? Gonorrhea. Good. Caused by gonococci. Okay. Any other? Ah, HIV. Use rise to AIDS. Any other? Okay. And now uh, syphilis is caused by anybody? Syphilis is caused by which organism? Syphilis is caused by? Syphilis is caused by which organism? Which organism? Syphilis is caused by Riponema pallidum. Syphilis is caused by Riponema pallidum. It is a curd organism. Ripos means curd. Everybody, 10 times you say, Syphilis is caused by Riponema pallidum. 10 times. 10 times you should tell. Everybody in chorus, different, different. No? no, I'll tell syphilis, you say, you say, triponema pallidum, okay. Syphilis. 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 I'll say triponema pallidum, you say syphilis, okay. Syphilis. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Okay. I say gonorrhea, you say gonococci. Okay. Gonorrhea. 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 I say gonorrhea, you should say. I say gonococci, you should say gonorrhea. Gonococci. 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 Okay. Now, uh, I say HIV, you say AIDS. Okay. HIV. AIDS. HIV. AIDS. HIV. AIDS. HIV. HIV. AIDS. I say AIDS, you say HIV. Okay. AIDS. HIV. 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 Okay. Now we do for syphilis a test called VDRL.
So, uh, everybody say VDRL stands for Venereal Disease Research Laboratory Test. Venereal Disease Research Laboratory Test. Done for the diagnosis of sexually transmitted disease called Syphilis, Syphilis caused by, caused by Triponema pallidum. Once again, venereal disease research laboratory test done for the diagnosis of sexually transmitted disease called Syphilis. Caused by, caused by spiral shaped organism, spiral -shaped organism called, called Triponema pallidum. Once again, venereal disease research laboratory test done for the diagnosis of syphilis caused by. Spiral shaped organism, -shaped organism called, called Triponema pallidum. Patient develops antibodies. Everybody, patient develops antibodies. Lipoidal uh, extract of the beef heart. Everybody, patient develops, patient develops antibodies, antibodies against, against lipoidal extract of, lipoidal extract of beef, heart, beef heart and lecithin and cholesterol, and lecithin and cholesterol are, added are added for, for flocculation. So, Antigen used in VDRL is lipoidal extract of beef heart, lecithin and cholesterol. Now, okay, now moving on to this is also asked in your examination I said antigen can act here, can, can react here, can react here, okay. Whereas antibodies has got two antigen, two combining site. So when, when more antigen are there and less anti, more antibodies are there, less antigen is there, it is called as Now repeat with me. When more antibodies are there, more antibodies are there less antigen is there. Less antigen is there. There, won't be there won't be visible reaction, antigen antibody reaction. Antibody. It is called as prozone phenomenon. When antigen antibodies are in equivalent proportion, for example, this is antigen, this is antibody. This is called as zone of equivalence.
Next is zone of equivalence. When? Every. When? Antigen. Antigen. Antibody. Antibody. In optimum proportion. In optimum proportion. There is a good amount of lattice formation. There is a good amount of lattice formation. Good amount of reaction is seen. Good amount of reaction. This is called as zone of equivalence. This is called as zone of equivalence. Post zone is. Post zone is. Lot of antigen, lot of antigen, less of antibody. Pose zone is, pose zone is more antigen and less of antibody. So you should remember, pro zone, antibody excess, zone of equivalence. Antigen antibody in optimum proportion. Optimum proportion. Post zone. Antigen excess. So, what are the uses of uh, precipitation test? What are the uses of precipitation test? Please remember, precipitation test is done when antigen is in a soluble form. When antigen is in a soluble form. When antigen is in a soluble form. Antigen antibody reaction, antigen soluble. Okay, what are the uses of uh, precipitation reaction? Now I told the uh, there is an organism called Streptococci. You remember the morphology of streptococci? What is the morphology? So again we will repeat. There are five fold like this everybody. Five cocci. How many? Which cause infection in man. Human being. Streptococci. Grapes. Streptococci. Chain. Chain. Pneumococci. Lancet shaped. All pneumococci, gonococci, meningococci are diplococci. They are in pairs. They are in pairs. Diplococci. Lancet shaped is pneumococci. Plano convex. Half moon shaped is meningococci. Okay. Kidney shaped is gonococci. Okay. Now streptococci is classified depending on the antigen present in the cell wall. A to V except I and J by doing precipitation test by taking carbohydrate antigen in the cell wall by taking carbohydrate antigen in the cell wall. They are classified into A to V depending on the Carbohydrate antigen present on this is called as Lansfield Rebecca Lansfield classification. This is called as Rebecca Lansfield classification. This is called as now VDRL test is done for the and uh, standardization of toxin and antitoxin. Standardization of toxin and antitoxin. Now uh, instead of doing on the tube, looking for the line of precipitation, if it is done in gel. It is called as gel precipitation test. It is called as gel precipitation test. You take the antigen in gel and put antibody. There will be a line of precipitation. This is called as gel precipitation test. This is called as gel precipitation test. And uh, Flocculation test, I already told you, VDRL test is a flocculation test. So, uh, it is used for uh, diagnosis, everybody, VDRL test is used for the diagnosis of, VDRL test is done, done for the diagnosis of uh, syphilis. Agglutination test, I told you, one of you can stand up and read order the agglutination test, I would have dictated. You have written down? No, huh?
There are two types of agglutination test, slide and tube. Slide test, slide, slide agglutination test and tube agglutination test. Everybody repeat this. Blood grouping, RH typing, major cross matching and minor cross matching. Uh, depending on the antigen present on the RBCs, Who classified? Blood grouping. Okay. Depending on the antigen present on the RBC, they are classified into A, B, A, B, and O. A people have A antigen. B people have B antigen. A, B have both A, B. O, 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 o people do not have any antigen on the surface. Okay. This is very important in the blood transfusion. The person who gives blood is called donors. The person who gives blood is called as donor. Everybody should donate blood once in a year. Why? Any idea? Blood is the highest amount of uh, donation. You should once in a year remember somebody in your family needed a blood. Somebody died for the want of blood. There are two types of blood banks. One is professional blood bank. Another is voluntary blood bank. Voluntary blood bank, you should go on your own and give the blood. And uh, professional blood bank, they take money and give blood. But uh, important uh, diseases that are transmitted by, these are called TTDs. What is TTD stands for? Not Tirumala Tirtipadi Devasthana. It is transmission transmitted infections, diseases. Transmission transmitted infection. Important are hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, syphilis, malaria. Cytomegalovirus. These are all. Uh, these are all transmitted by blood transfusion. These are all infections that are transmitted by unscreened blood. Unscreened blood. Everybody. Transfusion transmitted infections are. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. HIV. Syphilis. Malaria, Malaria and, and cytomegalovirus. 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 Hepatitis B, there are two types of hepatitis, important hepatitis, hepatitis A, hepatitis C, hepatitis B. Hepatitis A is fecal oral, it is an RNA virus. When you eat Bhelpuri, Panipuri, Rasgulla, Jamun or whatever it is, roadside eateries. You get jaundice. Hmm? Liver get infected. There is a raise of uh, bilirubin. You get uh, yellowish discoloration of sclera. It's very dangerous. So avoid eating on the roadside, especially uncooked food. Uncooked food. Avoid eating. Okay. Hepatitis B is called as serum hepatitis. Why you make so much of? This in all class we make like talk like this only. Huh? Hepatitis B is transmitted by parent relative. Hepatitis B transmitted by parent. She is only keeping quiet alone. So distance should be like COVID, six feet distance. Then we will not talk. Either you are mo using mobile phone or you are talking. Nobody is. The, these are called transmission transmitted disease. These are called These are called 
transmission transmitted diseases okay hepatitis b is uh, serum hepatitis it's one of the dangerous virus it is very common among healthcare workers who healthcare yeah. workers hcw in short we call it as hcw nurses ward boys uh, doctors residents surgeons everybody they occur by needle stick injury nsi order needle stick injury hepatitis b hepatitis c and hepatitis hiv during hospital work all healthcare workers are important needle stick injuries are three hold like this important needle stick injuries are three important everybody important important health health needle stick injuries are three hepatitis b hepatitis c hepatitis c hepatitis c hepatitis c hiv hiv 10 times hepatitis b hepatitis c i say i say nsi needle stick injury you have to say hepatitis b hepatitis c and hiv needle stick injury hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury needle stick injury hepatitis c hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury hepatitis c hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury hepatitis c hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv needle stick injury transmission transmitted diseases malaria syphilis not typhoid malaria syphilis cytomegalovirus everybody with me transmission transmitted diseases are hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv syphilis syphilis malaria malaria and cytomegalovirus and cytomegalovirus and vertical transmission mother to child transmission mother to child transmission during intrauterine life during the press we remember with the mnemonic starch starch S for syphilis. S for syphilis. Toxoplasma. I will tell you what is toxoplasma. Gone die. O is mnemonic. Rubella. Cytomegalovirus. Hep B. Hep C. HIV. So, mother to child. Mother to child transmission during intrauterine life. during pregnancy why you should not wear flower to the hospital nursing college nobody told you you should not wear you only you only flowers why you should not use flower nursing students any idea no ah, i'll tell you no 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 sir 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 because lot of people are allergic to the perfumes yes sir they will uh, get asthma bronchial asthma so make it that's why they are you are given a cap all nursing students are given a cap and you should not grow your uh, nails. nails why you should not grow your nails because ah patient gets pricked with nails and some people are allergic to the nail paints 
you should not do it. nail paint or polish are same no paint is you should not wear nail polish okay so as as far as it's okay first year you are not going to hospital next year when you go to the hospital and uh, you should not uh, uh, wear flowers because lot of people are allergic to the perfumes and uh, this is not movie pushpa you know okay uh, you should not wear flowers because people are allergic to the perfumes flower perfumes i mean and you should not grow your nails and some people are allergic to the nail polish also so avoid using nail polish as far as possible okay so uh, everybody you cannot screen and uh, send them in that's very important now uh, so vertical transmission mother to mother to child vertical transmission mother to child are syphilis syphilis toxoplasmosis rubella cytomegalovirus hepatitis b hiv repeat everybody syphilis syphilis five times syphilis 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 toxoplasmosis 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 rubella cytomegalovirus hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv can you read all this ha huh. syphilis is caused by just now i told you already for god triponema pallidum triponema pallidum 10 times triponema pallidum triponema pallidum triponema pallidum triponema pallidum triponema pallidum triponema pallidum this is a parasite toxoplasma gondii woman in pregnancy get infected if food and food and water contaminated with the feces of the cats feces of the cats feces of the cats rubella is the german measles it's a virus cytomegalovirus is also virus hepatitis b is a dna virus hepatitis c is rna virus hiv is rna virus so please remember syphilis caused by caused by triponema pallidum 10 times triponema pallidum triponema pallidum syphilis toxoplasma gondii this parasite is present in the this parasite is present in the feces of the cat feces of the cat man get infected man get infected if he drinks water or eats food we drink water or eat food contaminate with the contaminated with cats cats feces cats feces rubella rubella german measles cytomegalovirus hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv hiv gives hiv gives rise to acquired acquired immuno immuno deficiency syndrome hiv gives rise to acquired immuno deficiency syndrome acquired immuno deficiency syndrome okay thank you thank you sir